Hello guys, welcome again to my channel Artisans Web. So our today's topic is how to use Laravel event and listeners. So Laravel provides this event and listener feature in its core. It's like uh, fire some code on the some specific events like on user registration, product added, order place. So these are the some example of events and you can write down the code which should automatically execute on specific event occur. So as usual this is the blog we have and you will get the link of this blog in the description below. So this is my Laravel installation here I am using Laravel auth and this is my registration form so for our example we are using user registration event and on the successful registration of user we need to send one email to them using event and listener so in the laravel we get the file event service provider so i'm just opening that file now here we need to add our event and listener so I copy these lines. You can add as many event and listener here. So here we are adding user register event. And for that listener is send welcome mail. You can pass any name here but make sure it should be specific to our events. So as we are using user registration we keep the name specific now next thing is you need to run this command which actually generate your event and listeners just run this command yeah and it will create files for you Now under the listener you can see the file send when welcome email dot php exact the name with our listener send welcome email dot php and under the app events you will see the file with name user register dot php user register Now to define the event, uh, let's first clear out this code as we don't need all these statements here. We are going to include our user model as we are sending the email to the user. So we need user details under this event. So I'm just removing these lines. Uh, let's define this class variable which we will need in a moment. And let's add our dependency injection here. Now to the class variable we are assigning our user object. user yeah so here we are passing user object uh, to send the welcome email at the end now in the our listener file at first let's add uh, our mail statement here uh, as we need to send mail at the end so just include that one so i'm writing use mail so that we can send the mail now when listener is called it gets land in into the handle method so here we need to write actual logic what event should perform now uh, here i am writing the code which will send the email to the user so from the our 
user object as we are passing here user object here we can get the user name user email and stuff like that and we are sending the email using the laravel function now as we are passing here emails dot mail so we should have mail dot blade dot php file in our project so let me change. yeah we don't have that file so we need to create one so i just go to resources views create the folder emails and under the emails folder we have the file mail.blade.php uh, in that file uh, just write the content of the email you need to send to user so we just keep it simple okay now we write the code for event and for listener as well now we need to call this event here also all set yeah now let's call the event so this event should call from exactly on the code where we are going to add some logic so in our case we need to call this event after the user registration so i'm just call this event from the file and uh, from the after the code where user get created so at first let's add our events here this one now here we are creating the user so here this is the exact place where we can call our event so i'm just add this code here like this now here we are passing the user object to the user registered event so instead of return here we should write the variable dollar user because at the end we are also returning the same object so yeah. here user will get store then fine so all set we can test it now now i go to register page fill up some details now it should work oh we caught the error what it is Use dispatchable app event dispatchable not found. Oh, I see. Uh, remember, we remove the code from the top of the file. Uh, we should add those one, which are used in this file. So let's copy this code from another event file and add it here. Now from that, uh, we don't need this one. This one is also not needed. Dispatchable we need. Mm, yeah, Should broadcast, we don't need. Okay. Now let's run the file again. Yeah, we got succeed. Now we should get the welcome email. So let me quick check. Yeah, we got the email for event uh, for user registration through our event. So this is the data we are passing here. Like this is the subject, 
and this is the our email body which we exactly got from, uh, in our email so it's all about laravel event and listener guys i hope you understand the tutorial and if you like the tutorial please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching video bye bye